Hello and welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to download other browser drivers like uh, Firefox and Edge uh, browser drivers and see how we can execute our script in other browsers as well. So as we have seen in the previous tutorial that how we can go ahead and run our test case in the Chrome driver Chrome browser using the Chrome driver okay so we have set the property we have downloaded the Chrome driver so for executing your test case in a different browser like Firefox or Edge it's very similar you just have to get the specific browser driver and set the system property okay so to get the browser driver simply go to the selenium downloads so selenium.dev slash downloads scroll down to the browser section and we'll download the gecko driver for the firefox so we'll go to the doc documentation of that and then we need to download the edge as well okay so let's go to the documentation of edge browser so in the gecko driver you'll see the supported platform uh, which shows the mapping between the gecko releases and the versions okay of the firefox so we'll see it, we'll check our firefox version so let me open the firefox browser and confirm the version so to check the version go to help about firefox and the version i have is 76.0.164 bit okay let's go to the web driver page and here 0 0.26.0 should be fine because minimum is 60 and max is not applicable so our version is above 60 so i'll go ahead with this version of gecko driver so we'll go to the gecko driver releases and get this release okay so we'll simply click it and so for our platform so windows 64 we'll simply download this one okay and similarly for the edge driver we'll go to the edge uh, browser all right and let me go there so edge browser and go to help and about microsoft edge to find the version so version is 81.0.416.77 64-bit let's download the web driver for edge as well so edge driver so we'll go to the releases so we had 81 right so 81.0.416 and depending on what um, operating system you have so you have to download so we had windows 64 bit so this is the one uh, just click on it and edge driver underscore win 64 right so just save it so now we have saved these files okay we'll unzip it so we'll just unzip we'll extract gecko driver and edge driver and then simply copy these so gecko and edge driver will will cut these and put it in the browser drivers okay so we have all these drivers at a specific location so now we just have to you know refer to this particular location so now what we'll do is we'll try to execute our script in firefox as well as edge driver so simply what we have to change here is we have to first create an object for the firefox driver so we'll just change this we'll copy it three three times so we'll just say um firefox Firefox driver driver is equal to new Firefox driver okay and just hover over this line and it'll it just import the class so far import Firefox driver 
and that error will go away now in the system property what we have to do is so web driver dot gecko driver so we have to um, change the property to um, gecko in order to run our code on the firefox driver and here we'll simply copy the exe for the firefox driver okay and paste here okay now if you run this particular test it will run on firefox browser so save the file and run again now you can see it will launch firefox browser and open google.com right so that's the only change you have to do in your script to run your test case on firefox browser now there are a lot better ways to do you know to handle different multiple browsers when you are executing a script but this is just a beginning so i'm just showing you the possibility of selenium web driver that you can achieve in your web automation now we'll configure the uh, execution for the edge browser as well so to configure um, the edge browser you just change it to web driver dot edge dot driver and copy the location of the edge driver okay and here we'll simply change to ms edge driver okay and here we'll instantiate or we'll create an object of the edge driver okay so we'll say edge driver driver is equal to new edge driver and import the edge driver okay and if you run your test again so we'll save this file and run the test now edge browser should open and open google.com so that's how you will configure your execution on different browser now if you're running your uh, test cases or distributing your test cases on other machines for example mac there is a safari browser as well that you can um, run your test case on and you can download safari browser uh, safari driver as well um, the steps are all same so simply you know like these are all the supported browsers so firefox we have seen internet explorer is sort of um, you know only version 11 is supported so um, it requires additional configuration safari driver is supported by apple so you, uh, the step will be exactly similar um, you just download safari driver and configure the system property and do your execution uh, you have the opera driver and the uh, edge so we have seen edge chrome so uh, chrome and firefox these are the most widely used browsers that you need to at least support your web um, applications on so your automation will mostly uh, be run on these browsers but if there are other you know browsers that you need to support support so you can easily configure your test cases on other browsers as well for example safari or opera as well okay so that's pretty much all about how you can configure your uh, script to execute on other uh, different browsers in the next tutorial we will take a manual test case very simple manual test case and write our script automation script in selenium and then try to execute in different browser now after that we will cover the web driver architecture in uh, a bit more detail so that you can understand what exactly uh, we are uh, you know the steps we are writing in our uh, automation uh, along with that i'll also come up with the java for testers um, tutorial series which will explain you core java that you will be utilizing in the selenium automation so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching